sit. Oh, okay. I'll just wait till you get situated. What are you, what are you doing? I, I'm unsure. Hey guys, so it's been a while. Sorry I've been MIA for a bit, but things got really crazy here and honestly, I needed a break. If you're a little behind with the Wolfpack news, my girl Falcon got real sick real fast last month and we unfortunately lost her to what the doctors speculate was a brain tumor, a pretty gnarly brain tumor. We fought so hard for her and thank you guys for all of your donations and your well wishes and everything that you guys did for us. You are amazing and we really appreciate it. But unfortunately, it was just her time. So it's been kind of weird here going back to a one dog house. Oddly, I don't feel like there's enough chaos. We had a beautiful memorial for her. We planted a tree in her honor and things have been calming down a bit and we're just kind of getting used to the new normal. In the spirit of moving forward, I'm gonna get right back into my regular video schedule. I'm ready to see you guys again once a week and I'm sure Phoenix is too. <laughs> Have you ever looked at your dog sleeping in a weird position and thought to yourself like, that can't be comfortable? I think that all the time. And I realize that I've never actually tried any of these sleeping positions to see if they actually were comfortable. So today I'm gonna to try five sleeping positions that I've seen. Hello. So today I'm going to try five sleeping positions that I've seen my dogs do and we'll see if they're applicable to humans. Number one, the fell over. This is the position where it looks like your dog was kind of just standing there and a huge gust of wind knocked him over right there on the spot. Phoenix does this a lot after we run and so I take this to mean that like she's so tired she can't even be creative with her sleeping positions at the moment. This isn't bad. I, I don't know about my arms. Maybe they'd be like this more, but I kind of feel like my head though is like, just at not a good angle and I'm probably gonna wake up with a stiff neck. Overall, I, no, it's not comfy. <laughs> I probably can't fall asleep like this. I could try, but I'd have to be really, 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 really tired. Number two, toes in the air. So many of you have sent me pictures of your dogs sleeping in this position. I imagine for a husky, it lets them air out a bit because their tummies are exposed and their armpits are exposed. This one just looks like a fun position to sleep in. And I'm kind of excited to try it. Okay, this isn't bad, but I have a hard time keeping my toes in the air or my arms in the air. Like I've seen my dogs do it where they have like their hands like their arms like this and their heads like curved. This is comfy. The arms and legs are not comfy. I I I feel like I'd have to be, really be holding them up for this to work. And uh, gravity is telling me like it just wants to do this. I'm gonna classify this as partially comfortable. My body is fine in this position. I feel okay. I probably couldn't stay like this forever, but I just can't maintain <laughs> this. <laughs> Number three, dog assembled wrong. This is the sleeping position where you're not even sure how it's possible, let alone comfortable. It's exactly as it sounds. It looks like your dog was assembled incorrectly and maybe we need to revisit the instruction manual. I don't even know if this is humanly possible. But basically, I'd need to have, no, it wouldn't, it's not like this. It's like my legs and arms are this way and then my head <laughs> is like, <laughs> I don't think it's a thing that humans can do. I can only turn this way. I can't turn this way. <laughs> I'm gonna call this not comfy. Number four. The Siberian Swirl. Huskies are famous for sleeping in this position because it keeps the warmth in. They're curled up in a tight little ball and they even use their tails as a scarf to cover their noses from cold and wind. I don't have a tail, so I'll be using my hair. 
This is the one I'm the most excited to try because, like, it's their signature swirl. But I, I don't know how. I guess they get their legs like under here, and then they faces <laughs> like this. And then I would take my hair and I would use it as my tail to cover my nose. I don't think I'm doing it right. I think I would have to put my arms like in. Is that right, guys? <laughs> or is it more like, is it more like fetal position? Or is it like this? Maybe this is fine. This isn't bad, but I, I don't think I can maintain that tight a swirl while I'm asleep. I'm, I'll probably like try to fall asleep like this and then like the whole swirl will be broken. I'm gonna call it not comfortable. I'm sure it's comfortable for the dog, but <laughs> not meant for humans. And number five, the this is a pillow. My dogs and your dogs are so good at picking non-pillow objects as pillows that I have an entire segment dedicated to this at the end of my show. The possibilities here are endless. I'm gonna try some pillows that I've seen my dogs use and your dogs use. I don't know, maybe they will be comfortable. Like who would have thought that boxes and chair legs would be pillows? I don't hate this if all the boxes were this size. Hmm. This is surprisingly comfortable. I don't know if I could do any other size box, so this is like a perfect pillow size box. It makes me feel like I'm cheating a little bit, like this box is too much like a pillow. This isn't bad either. Except that every time I move it would grunt. <laughs> I don't know about this. I guess this isn't bad. Yeah, no, it's definitely getting stuck in my hair. I think I'm stuck. I'm gonna put my shoulder out like this. Not a fan. Oh. Well, there you have it. Most of those positions, not comfortable. Our dogs are just special. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments section below what weird positions your dogs sleep in, if any of these resonate with you, or if you have other positions to offer. I'm always up for a challenge, so I might try it. And don't forget, you could send your submissions for This Is A Pillow via Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Because to a husky, the world is full of potential pillows. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can go here. And if you want to see more dog stuff, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye.